What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. Good Friday afternoon. It is the Earth Master here on this uh, beautiful April 22nd date 2022 about 12:23 p.m. California time latest quake shows a 3.7 earthquake here in the area of the Philippine plate. Let's go ahead and check out this movement here across the map as we look at the latest USGS map. Still pretty quiet though, up here around the eastern part of the Philippine Plate northward through Japan. We did have a pretty strong earthquake up into the Alaska region the, near the uh, Nelson Lagoon. 206 kilometer deep earthquake. That is a uh, pretty deep earthquake there into the subduction zone of the Pacific Plate and the North, and, uh, North American Plate here, well inland and well down dip into this area. As uh, far as any aftershock sequences there, I have not seen anything, so definitely got to be on guard for uh, this type of activity. It's been a while since we've seen a significant large earthquake here in this region, so we will be watching that area pretty closely. Uh, aside from the 3.6 on the Earthquake 3D globe here, we got a couple of earthquakes in the 4 range. At the southern end of the Philippine Plate, a couple of upper 4s around the area and also down into the Indonesia region, just outside of the uh, Papua New Guinea area. Movement along the Kermadec Trench and the Tonga Trench here. 5.3 down here in the southern part and a 4.7 uh, last night into the Tonga region. Pretty shallow earthquake up. Well, actually, this one's a deep one, 119 kilometers. A little bit shallow earthquake down here along the trench uh, around the Kermadec Islands. South America. A little bit of movement into the Peru Chile Trench here. This one's pretty deep, 114 kilometer for 4.7. And some activity continuing here in the Caribbean plate outside of Dominica. A little bit of movement here around Haiti as well. A couple twos, some threes, and fours out in the region. Uh, looking at the states, a little bit of activity kicking up here along the west coast as well. Seeing that movement up here in the southern end of the Cascadia last night, a 1.8. Picking up down here in the Cobb Mountain region there from uh, all the hydrothermal operations ongoing there. About 51 earthquakes or so over the last 24 hours. Most of them, I believe, are below, below the 2.5 threshold. Looks like we had a couple up there in the upper 2 range, though. So. Uh, working our way down south in the Bay Area, just one earthquake here outside of Concord 2.0 that came in last night. And getting a little bit of swarming down here along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault once again. Uh, a couple twos, uh, including a 3.2 in that little cluster of quakes. Ridgecrest movement, uh, actually Long Valley, Antelope Valley up here, look pretty quiet, just a couple small microquakes. Movement around Ridgecrest uh, looks pretty spotty as well, just some very low key uh, micro uh, microquakes there in that region. A little bit of activity here outside of San Diego near Lakeside with a 1.5 pretty shallow movement there at uh, 2.4 kilometers and uh, looking at this area down excuse me down here in the imperial fault the brawley seismic zone southern end of the san Andreas fault we're not seeing a whole lot of movement here today last quake uh looks like it's been a little spotty this morning it looks like uh 2.1 1.9 and 1.6 today most of this activity from yesterday or late last night so we're still watching it though Sometimes these swarms take a little break and then they kick back up with a vengeance. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, Yellowstone National Park showing up here on the map. Let's go ahead and check out this latest uh, map view. And it looks like, uh, at least since last night's update, a little bit of movement here in the center area of the park. A little west of it looks like is the uh, epicenter area. A couple small quakes showing up there on that uh, seismograph station. Nothing significant. But uh, USGS is posting that uh, activity there in the low zero range. <laughs> Nothing really above 2.0 in that region. Or 1.0 for that matter. Uh, Texas, Oklahoma, New Madrid zone. All look fairly quiet. Uh, this earthquake here from last night in the New Madrid area. 2.6 at 8.5 kilometers. Nothing has occurred uh, since then. Out here in the big island. Out in the middle of the Pacific. We got... Uh, little activity kicking up here around the Kilauea Volcano. It's going to be this area right here. 
and of course some uh, typical movement down here in the southeast flank but overall uh, 20 earthquakes not a big deal on the big island just uh, just kicking up a little bit on Friday just kind of kind of seems like the calm before the storm currently I just have that odd feeling looking at this map uh, let's see what else we got aside from the rest of the country or the rest of the world I should say not a whole lot going on got one earthquake down here South Sandwich Islands 4.7 uh, yesterday we did have this earthquake here in the Greenland area 5.1 near the north coast of Greenland uh, at 10 kilometers we don't see too much activity up here it's been a while since we've seen any movement way up here on top of the globe so uh, or on top of the map however you want to look at it but uh, definitely a little bit of activity there yesterday showing up on the uh, on the USGS activity map there from yesterday let's check out the trimmer see if it's been reported 32 epicenters of tremor once again down here in the southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, no major movement going on. Just seen a, probably, it seems like almost between 15 to 30 epicenters on any given day here over the past week or so. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Solar weather activity. Just going to make this a quick update, folks. I'm uh, not going to do too much. I'm hoping everyone gets an update notification. Had some issues going on about 3 o'clock in the morning uh, today. Uh, somebody messing with the uh, live stream here. I think they're accessing something through my Java program. And uh, that's all right. I got a couple IP addresses I'm monitoring right now, and we'll we'll sort it through and see what see what becomes of it. But yeah, it was live stream went down about three. Uh, fired it back up, and uh, about ten minutes later, it went down again. No issues with the internet. Nothing to do with YouTube. Uh, had something to do with just like pulling the string on the. Uh, on the uh, the connection somehow I was starting to notice an error in the Java uh, programs and uh, I did a little digging around we'll see what see uh, see if they try it again I'd love for them to try it again I don't know who it is but a uh, couple couple IP addresses out I'll, I'll give you this much here out in this Midwest area is where these IP addresses are located okay solar weather activity we did have some movement last night kick up here um in the m range looks like uh m flare kicked off there uh late yeah, it was kind of earlier this morning it looks like late last night earlier this morning no more x flares currently but uh, there is still that possibility of these things crackling and popping uh, the last m flare was uh, m 3.4 that's going to be this one right here and uh, active sunspot regions are facing the earth they're all earth directed right now with some further development here uh, included in this massive region um, and they're like I said they're pretty much earth directed so anything that does kick off CME should be uh, definitely a bullseye hit uh, in the coming days here's a better look at the visible solar disk image see those well-defined sunspots and there's a lot of them uh, looking at the polarity mix there's uh, a little bit of activity here and possibly some kicking up right here in the uh, possible soon to be solar flaring, which still sits at, it uh, looks like 99% C flare, uh, M flare around 75% chance, X flare stands around 25. Uh, so we'll see how that uh, plays out. Little image here from uh, the solarham.net website shows the uh, comparison here of these massive sunspots today. And compared to uh, AR2192, I remember this one back in 2014. So that one was much more significant. Bigger, definitely bigger. Uh, but this one's starting to, it's starting to get there. But I remember that coming back in uh, 2014, seeing that image. And uh, this is, here's the Earth scale. So Earth scale to these sunspots, yes. You can put quite a few Earths in these... Uh, in these little sunspots here that kind of looks like a happy face here doesn't it two eyes a little nose and an open mouth oh man creepy all right guys i'm gonna jump off here uh it is friday we'll be back a little bit later on uh this evening with the uh friday night update and uh, we'll probably have a question and answer show as well just to uh just to make sure that uh, we do that because it's something that we like to do every Friday night. Looking at uh, data buoy systems out here, not seeing any unusual movement. Uh, this one here is in event mode here around the Java Trench. Let me see what this thing is uh, kind of pointing towards. 
Looks like there was a little, it's hard to say folks exactly what would trigger these things. Uh, who knows, maybe a huge bird landed on it. I, I doubt it, but you never know. These are meters here. looks like we had a meter drop, almost a full meter. Um, and then kind of leveled itself back out. So uh, I'm not out there. I don't think they have any cameras from there. It would be kind of cool if each buoy had a, had a, uh, a camera attached to it. But uh, yeah, definitely a little drop and then coming right back up. So hard to say. Sometimes these things are errors, but uh, if that was some type of, uh, you know, event, water event, uh, these other stations would no doubt pick it up unless it's very localized. But uh, we'll keep checking on it and see, uh, see what's happening. All right, folks, in the meantime, enjoy your Friday. We'll be back tonight here, probably about 7 o'clock California time, maybe 7.30. We'll see. And uh, we'll do a question and answer show here with Missy Mimi's and, of course, uh, the Friday night update unless something drastic happens. All right, guys, have a good day. We'll chat, chat it, everyone, pretty much uh, later tonight. Take care, guys.